Marguerite's maternal grandparents lived in saint Remy Parish. Claude, her grandfather, was a textile merchant. Her parents, Abraham Bourgeois and Guimet Garnier, were married in saint Remy on February the 3rd, 1609. The parish church dates from the mid-14th century and is among the oldest in the city. Following the Rue de la République, we come to the Troyes City Hall. The central part of the building, which was begun in 1624, was completed only in 1670. Marguerite witnessed its construction because she lived across from it at Place de la Belle Croix. Here once stood the house where Marguerite Bourgeois was born on April 17, 1620. The seventh of 13 children, she was baptized on the same day Good Friday. Her father, Abraham, was a master candle maker and an official in the Trois Mint. Very close to the family home, Saint Jean au Marché Church dates from the first half of the 13th century. Especially noticeable are a painting of the Baptism of Jesus by Pierre Mignard, a painter from Trois who lived during the reign of Louis XIV, and a sculpture of the Visitation of Mary, which was so significant to Marguerite Bourgeois. Indeed, she asked her sisters to honor this mystery of Mary in turning toward their neighbor throughout their lives. Let us make our way towards Saint Urbain Basilica to the Couvent des Jacobins, today Collège des Jacobins. On Sunday, October the 7th, 1640, during a procession at Notre Dame du Rosaire Church, outside the convent, Marguerite lived a life-changing spiritual experience. As she passed in front of a statue in stone of the Virgin Mary, she was profoundly moved. Glancing up to look at it, I found it very beautiful. At the same time, I found myself so moved and so changed that I no longer recognized myself. When I returned home, this was apparent to everyone. Since I was very frivolous, I had been very popular with the other girls. From that moment, I gave up my pretty clothes and withdrew from the world to give myself to the service of God. Until then, because she had not wished to appear overly pious, she had been most reluctant to become a member of the Congreganists under the direction of the canonesses of St. Augustine. At that point, however, Marguerite asked to enter the extern congregation of the canonesses and was welcomed with joy. In 1652, Monsieur de Maisonneuve, founder of Montreal, said farewell to his sister before his return to Canada. He confirmed that he could not bring nuns back with him. I offered to go, and he accepted me, but I would have to go alone. 
Marguerite still needed assurance that she had made the right decision. Go, I will never forsake you. I knew it was the Blessed Virgin, and this gave me great courage, said Marguerite. In February 1653, Marguerite left Troyes for her adopted country with little money or belongings, abandoned to Providence, with a small parcel which she could hold under her arm. Thus, the new France adventure began.